so after looking into the uh, reinforcement of rcc cladding wall in the design of this complex slope uh, uh, what we will do here is that we will try to reduce this uh, factors of uh, uh, factors smaller factor of safety slip surfaces because these are very small surfaces which uh, we want to avoid uh, while we analyze our overall factor of safety so to do that uh, uh, we decide that we'll go to definition and start defining the ground reinforcements in the form of soil nails or self drilling anchors as mentioned in the powerpoint presentation so let's uh, go to define we can just go to define reinforcement sets again and now uh, cladding and like cladding we'll add a new we'll call it uh, top slope and instead of anchor we'll add a new uh, reinforcement type uh, which will be soil nail soil nails uh, so we have the type of uh, reinforcement as we have already seen here anchors geosynthetic nails spires user defined kiosker mecha ferry tensor tensor so all of these uh, are they have different uh, mechanisms but let me tell you the major three anchor geosynthetic and nails uh, the anchor has some bond length uh, which we can define but in nail the bond length basically is the complete length so if we define the complete length that will be the bond length automatically everything else is quite similar pull out tensile and shear resistance we need to define as well and uh, the shear application parallel to slip per perpendicular to reinforcement uh, whatever you want to suggest uh, uh, which increases the capacity uh, generally in uh, uh, anchors and soil nails especially in soil nails uh, the shear application is what uh, 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 again uh, we can use parallel to slip but go with the default because uh, the earth motion only triggers the application of soil nails so <coughs> we can go with the soil nails one other type of reinforcement is the application of geosynthetic which we'll be looking in the later tutorials so the three uh, major reinforcement types anchors geosynthetic and nails will we will learn all three of them but in this specific tutorial we'll learn about anchors and nails so the second uh, type of uh, reinforcement nail nail will now uh, uh, input here the pull out resistance uh, as we have mentioned in the powerpoint presentation is 60 kilopascal we'll keep the reduction factor 1 again uh, same as the default uh, you can or use uh, uh, 1.5 value as I mentioned earlier if you gone, want to go a little conservative design on your own 220 is the tensile capacity again the shear capacity will be half of that that's what uh, general consideration of uh, tensile and shear capacity uh, is assumed however we assume in this case is that the pull out resistance uh, uh, will be the deciding factor uh, so <coughs> after that uh, uh, We'll keep the default setting like factor of safety dependent uh, uh, we'll keep on no uh, force distribution will be distributed not concentrated we don't want our uh, force to be at the top of the nail head so uh, bond diameter as we have mentioned earlier in the powerpoint presentation it will be 0 0.05 that will be the sorry that will be the diameter not the radius and the out of plane spacing is a limiting spacing of 2.5 so we are using limiting spacing like 3 meter and 2.5 meter in both the cases uh, so uh, like uh, uh, you can basically reduce the uh, your cost of overall reinforcement if you use that this is anyway out of plane spacing so this is a 2d diagram if you see here so you will not be able to imagine them right now but if you assume that this uh, uh, section of slope is going for about 50 meter or uh, 100 meter then this spacing uh, will be applicable in that manner so i'm just going to close it now and uh, for top slope we will select the reinforcement of soil nail and uh, <coughs> i will uh, instead of uh, uh, initiating the start and end point here i'll just close it right now i'll go to draw and uh, draw reinforcement set that will that i will do i'll click on soil nails uh, i'll uh, name uh, them soil nails with the capital uh, initials of soil and nails so with the start point uh, we'll start uh, at about this point and uh, we'll uh, go to this point sorry again uh, that's my mistake i'll just escape them and i will redraw 
draw the reinforcement set so I'll, I will not name it uh, right away but uh, what I will do is that yes the length we can change anyway later on so I will just zoom out and uh, go to the point where we wanted to put our reinforcement uh, finally so till here okay so this is our reinforcement set you can see that there are only five uh, number of reinforcement that will be not large enough so <coughs> I will just uh, first name it uh, soil nails uh, anyway uh, a good identification will be uh, soil nails so uh, what we can do here is that we can change the angle so this angle 90 degree it will require a large amount of grout so we'll try to keep an angle uh, which is uh, at an angle of about uh, I'm guessing uh, 40 degree from horizontal so just keep on changing uh, minus 98 degree basically means that uh, the angle uh, from we can see this uh, this uh, horizontal is 98 degree so it's slightly higher than right angled triangle so we will keep on increasing this angle to 90 plus 40 that is 130 so that's what I am trying to do here 40 degree inclination is <coughs> good enough you can also increase the angle from uh, horizontal by going to like uh, uh, 35 45 in uh, in the middle like uh, not 50 40 so in this case uh, if uh, these anchors are slightly inclined then usage of grout is uh, not a big issue so don't try to put your anchors uh, directly uh, horizontally uh, vertically uh, under the uh, shadow of uh, under the surface of your layer so the length uh, will go with the initial length of about 6 meter because that's what uh, I guess will penetrate uh, it till the rock layer so we want to penetrate our anchor length anchor to the rock layer otherwise there, there will be uh, not a lot of reinforcement uh, going on because uh, uh, if you do not penetrate it to the uh, rock level the connection will not uh, be a good so you want to have a good connection so try to penetrate till uh, rock length at some extent so you can see except for this anchor uh, most of these anchors are slightly embedded in rock layer so we'll increase the number of anchors let's say from 55 to 50 uh, so see let's see how much anchors are there how many anchors are there you can see there are a lot so if you see this kind of conflicting intersection you will see that in out of plane that this intersection will not work in 2d you are seeing this intersection because it's coming up in a drawing but uh, in out of plane uh, uh, construction this intersection will be can be avoided so I will go with the number of uh, reinforcement equal to 50 and uh, I will just click on close so that's how we can define the soil nails and uh, with this soil nails uh, application keeping the grid and radius same we can run a preliminary uh, factor safety analysis uh, to see if they affect uh, 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 in a slight uh, to the factor safety mechanism so we'll go up and see that the factor of safety has been the smaller factor of safety uh, failures uh, occurring at uh, the smaller areas are just gone so with the same case we haven't changed any radius and grid uh, option but the smaller failures are automatically gone so what you can do is that you can increase uh, the number of anchors uh, decrease the out of plane spacing in in this cases like uh, you can just uh, uh, assume uh, anything to reduce the factor of safety so sorry to increase the factor of safety now because we had just run a dynamic analysis and we you have seen that in the case of rock uh, uh, dynamic factor of safety of one is good enough so we have just reached the factor of safety of one for this whole failure surface and that's uh, i'm guessing good and you can also fine tune uh, your grid and radius you can just increase the number of uh, uh, points you can see that here this red red uh, area is the most uh, probable uh, area of failure so you can just shift your grid to this area uh, so that you can analyze it more uh, clearly but uh, I will just uh, put a full stop here because uh, I think uh, we have done the uh, we have learned the reinforcement application of soil nails as well as uh, ground anchor so I'm just going to save it now and uh, I will just uh, give you a quick recap of what we have learned in this, this specific tutorial uh, tutorial number three uh, we have uh, had this drawing uh, with us uh, this drawing will generally uh, 
uh, we cannot generate this in AutoCAD, but uh, based on this geodetic coordinate system, these drawings can be generated in the field and then you can import this in AutoCAD. From AutoCAD, you can import this in GeoSlope. So uh, based on limit state analysis, you can just follow up with this reinforcement and uh, ground anchor mechanism. So uh, we have learned the use of uh, 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 reinforcement weight. Yeah, we have used the reinforcements in the form of anchors and soil nails. Also, maybe uh, in the next tutorial, uh, we'll go and uh, see the reinforcement in the form of uh, uh, different uh, uh, types like uh, geosynthetics, uh, maybe pile, uh, not specifically pile though, because uh, this is, uh, we can use micro piles uh, as a form of in-situ reinforcement, but uh, we don't generally use the piles, okay. Uh, we can, uh, maybe in some specific cases, I will show you if I find a way to use uh, the application of pile, but you can see the pile reinforcement will be only ap applicable if you use shear reinforcement. Anyway, so I'm just going to uh, 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 close this tutorial now. So just try yourself, uh, these files will be supplied and you can uh, just uh, uh, play with them and see how the factor safety can be uh, changed uh, based on this uh, 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 control parameters of uh, anchor, anchorage and reinforcement.